I have with me Shelby Dupasquier, Head of Banking and Finance Practice at Geneva Lawyers Lens and Stalin. Shelby, we've had a, some mixed emotions tonight. We, we're celebrating the, the best performing private banks for their achievements, yet we've got a bit of a bleak backdrop that you were outlining earlier on. Should we not get too carried away with the celebrations or should we be saying the Swiss banking industry is a healthy one and it can potentially reinvent itself to shake off these threats? Uh, the Swiss banking industry in the middle of a transformation process and, and I, I believe that it will get out of this stronger and leaner um, and, and you know beyond the tax, the bank secrecy that, that was a weapon and, and a commercial tool that has been used by many banks over the years to uh, shield to a certain degree non-tax compliant clients. The reality is that the Swiss banking industry has a lot of assets uh, that uh, it can offer its clients in a you know, tax uh, transparent environment which is the, the current one. And you know, to name a few, um, you know, a stable um, and solid um, institution a strong currency, as well as um, uh, qualities um, and uh, reputation of financial services that it has been um, de developing for, for decades now. All of these, I think, are very strong tools for um, a strong uh, banking industry in Switzerland in the future. Shelby, do you think that initial stage has passed and we saw big fines for settlements perhaps with UBS and some of the other banks, we've seen some of the small, smaller banks close down, do you feel that stage has passed? The Americans feel they've, they've taught the Swiss banks a lesson and now they, they, they don't want too many of these sanctions, that, that it's going to be a, a, a lot more of a moderate process going forward? Well, I, I don't think we're at the end of the process as far as the US are concerned. I think the program which is ongoing is likely to last several months and take us until mid-2015 at least. And I think as part of the program, um, you know, there will be sanctions that will be imposed on banks that are uh, participating in, in that. And, and I think one can expect uh, hefty uh, sanctions, even though maybe not at the scale of what has been imposed on Credit Suisse and UBS. And that means more banks will potentially close? Well, the, I think there will be a number of banks that will close, there will be a number of banks that will merge, um, and, and I think the, the fines imposed by the program will be one of the reasons, but by far not the only reason for that. The US action, this is a catalyst really for an inevitable process, that this was an inefficient industry, maybe it had to clean up its, its act anyway. You're right, I think, I think the, the program in a way has, has been one of the catalysts that, that is pushing uh, the Swiss banking industry into a restructuring which was long overdue. I mean, Switzerland has had too many banks for too long and many of these banks were hardly profitable. And certainly with the um, you know, sanctions imposed by the program, many of these uh, smaller banks will go um, you know, in the red. But Switzerland will still live long and prosper as a financial centre. I, I'm convinced that this will be the case in, in a different level uh, playing field, which is, as I say, the one of a transparent uh, and tax-compliant environment. Thank you very much, Shelby Dupesky.